We're here to raise awareness of passengers, those who work in and around the airport, and to uh, indicate that this can be a safe place for those who are being exploited and to honour the work that's being done here to help to protect the most vulnerable in our society. How, can, how, how is it possible to spot those who are most vulnerable? If somebody's uh, coming through the airport, flying in from a, from a foreign country, what would, be, it, what would it be about their behaviour that might signal that they are open to this kind of abuse? Well, part of the work that's being uh, launched this week is in partnership with uh, Border Force uh, and the chaplaincy here at the airport and local organisations who work with those who have been trafficked uh, to train uh, people who work here in the airport on the front line, both with airlines and other companies who work in and through the airport, to be able to be alert for those very signs that you're talking about, um, those indications that perhaps relationships between people are not all that they seem and to be able to spot the signs that people are at risk and are vulnerable and we hope that uh, the publicity uh, and the information in and around the airport will give those people courage and hope to be able to turn to people who may be able to help them. Uh, and what is the scale of the problem and is it getting worse? Well, uh, the British and national uh, faith communities and all those who work for good across the world are recognising that this is uh, a growing um, and very significant problem that uh, we're trying to come together to address. And the scale of it is something that's very difficult to identify because so much of it is hidden. Uh, but last year at... Um, uh, at uh, a gathering in Rome for uh, faith leaders from across the world. The Archbishop of Canterbury identified that perhaps up to 30 million people across the world at any time um, are being exploited uh, in human trafficking. Um, and that perhaps is only the, the tip of the iceberg. So it is a problem that we are working together to try and raise awareness of and uh, come up with practical solutions so that uh, we can begin to address this problem.